Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So I took a little Christmas break. I've been off for like the past three weeks, but today we're doing something really fun, um, wedding related. We're doing our wedding um, cake tasting. I honestly don't even have like any flavors in mind as far as what I want, but when I taste something good, I will know it. <laughs> I like I think I like smooth because then our decorator is gonna also put the florals on there. Which one do you want to try first? Just dip your fork in there and dip it in there and try. I like it. Mm. Well, we demolished it. And that was tasty. All right, so we decided um, on the cake flavors. Um, we're having a three uh, tier cake, three layer cake, and then um, it's gonna be like a smooth white. I'll show some pictures from my Pinterest board. Um, but we chose two flavors. The first one was uh, white velvet with the raspberry fill-in, and then the second, no, it was white velvet with the strawberry fill-in, and then the second one was um, a lemon cake with the raspberry fill-in, and they're both really, really good. But let me pull up my Pinterest board. So this is the cake inspo, three layers, white, um, smooth, all the way around. And then our um, florist is gonna like add the floral to it. Yeah, so over this three week Christmas break, um, we've made our wedding registry, uh, made the wedding website, and now finalized our cake. Um, so yeah, it's been a pretty, uh, pretty productive like break for wedding planning. So the last major things that we had to finalize with the wedding is um, the cocktail hour, figuring out who's doing the catering and what kind of food we're gonna have for the cocktail hour, and then finding a day of coordinators. So those two things, and then we'll be done pretty much with everything. But right now, uh, we're just about to head to the mall, head over to Perimeter so I can get my ring cleaned. All right. Give me a tiny kick of water. So I'm back home now. Um, I have a new rotation that starts tomorrow. Uh, I'm doing radiology, and after that, I have two more rotations for the rest of the year. Um, so February is medical ICU, and then March is anesthesia. So I am really getting down to the home stretch. Um, match day is in March, and then after that, I am off until graduation in May. Have a couple trips planned. Um, and then in May I have my bridal shower, then graduation, and then we're going to Nigeria for the traditional wedding. Um, so yeah, a lot of things coming up in the next few months. And then after I get back from um, Nigeria, that'll probably be like, we'll go in May, come back in June, and then start residency. And then after that, we're gonna be having the wedding here. Oh, and over the break, um, I also said yes to the dress. I found my wedding dress, um, which I absolutely love. It's um, pretty much exactly what I wanted. Like, if you look at my Pinterest board and you look at the dress, it's pretty much the same. So I'm happy with what I found. Um, I'll be having a video on that sometime in January coming out. All right, so the rest of the day, I'm just going to be chilling at home. Um, probably look at the email to figure out where I'm going tomorrow for orientation. So I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys. So I have orientation at the hospital at uh, 1.30. But before I head there, there's a few things that I needed to do this morning. Um, first up is getting my eyebrows done. So here I am. Next up, I need to drop my suit off at the cleaners. I have one more interview coming up next week. And for my final stop, I am on campus. So I had to stop by the finance department because I was looking like at my spring charges uh, for this semester I saw that I was charged for health insurance and that is a two thousand dollar fee um, you know once you turn 26 you can no longer be on your parents insurance so I turned 26 in November um, and school policy is that if you're not insured you have to automatically enroll in the school's insurance but I waived out of the school's insurance because um, I'm now insured through Stanley's insurance, so I submitted all the proper documentation, but I still ended up with this $2,000 health insurance fee. 
So I'm at the finance department. Hopefully this will be a quick fix today. Okay, so the lady that handles like all the health insurance charges, she's out of office until Wednesday, so couldn't get the charger moved. But it should be a pretty easy fix when she does get back to the office. I went ahead and talked to the school's health insurance and they said that they'll, um, you know, send over all the verification that I did wave out of the insurance and so the charges should be removed. All right, final stop. Um, had to pick up some paperwork. Uh, the rotation I'm doing is actually not with my school. It's at another medical school in Atlanta, so because of that, we have to do all this paperwork, badge work, things like that. All right, got my paperwork and badge. I'm not sure why I had the Children's Hospital ID on there, won't be there. But last thing I'm gonna do is pay for some parking for the month. All right, so I've had a pretty efficient morning. I've gotten all my tasks done, uh, it's 12 o'clock. Orientation doesn't start till 1.30. Um, I'm just gonna stop and get some lunch at this market. Hey guys, say hey to the vlog. <laughs> you know I'm not sure. Just let hype it up, let them know that you're excited. Were you planning on doing anything with video? You asked me about like... Oh yeah. yeah. Um, one of the things I want to do in the future is like integrate medicine and technology. Mm -hmm. uh, if I could go around maybe like interview people who use like the Yeah, uh, oh cool. Different friends for you. Alright, finished lunch. <clears throat> I saw a few of my classmates here so I just ended up eating lunch with them. This is my first time at this market. I got some Vietnamese food um, which is pretty good. And now I'm gonna head over to the hospital for orientation. Lighting is pretty bad, um, but orientation is done. This is a four week radiology um, elective. And so you get to choose what kind of radiology you can do, like interventional radiology, chest, abdomen, ER radiology, and you can switch it up every week. Um, I chose to do four weeks of radiology in the, for the emergency room. Um, not too sure about the hours. It says like eight to five on the syllabus, um, which is pretty long for like a fourth year elective. Hopefully I'll be done by like noon or one o'clock every day, but we'll see. Overall, it seems like it's gonna be a pretty chill rotation. But my day is done. Um, it's 2.30, I'm gonna head home. And then uh, later today, about 4.30, I'm gonna go to the gym. Good, you recording, give me three. Good. Good, turn that thing. Good, give me three. Straight arms, precious, good. Good. Good, steer that thing, come on, come on. Good. Good, precious. Give me three. Come on, straight arms, straight arms. You got it, you got it. Come on. Two, woo, come on. Straight arms, precious. Good. Steer that thing, five seconds, steer it five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Y'all. I was convinced that I had rhabdo, AKA rhabdomyolysis. Um, that's just like muscle breakdown when you do strenuous um, activity, strenuous workout. Um, so like the muscle breaks down, goes to your blood and then it affects um, your kidney function. So Saturday I, um, I went to the gym and I did these calf raises. The first time I did that kind of exercise and the next day I woke up like, and my legs were in extreme pain. Like I've been sore before, but this was another level. Like it was painful. Like I've been limping for the past two days. Um, so I went to the gym today. Today was upper body, but um, I had told my trainer about it. And so like we did um, a lot of stretches with the calf today. It's still pretty painful, but it does feel a bit better. But like I've seen patients come into the ER with rhabdo from like doing a spin class or something like that. And usually, you know, they present with like um, sore muscles, uh, muscle pain, um, like decreased urination, dark or red urine, cause it, you know, it's affecting the kidneys. Um, but the treatment for it is just um, like aggressive uh, fluid hydration. So IV fluid, oral fluid intake, 
I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't have Rhabdo, but I was concerned. Um, but I do have like this massager. It's a um, Mayo Buddy massager. Um, I got it about a week ago and it's really good like post-workout. Um, like if you have sore, stiff muscles, um, preventing like muscle tightness. So I'm just gonna like demonstrate how I use it. So like there's a couple different coverings that it comes with, um, a blue one and the white one. Um, the white one you usually do over your clothes. The blue one you can do direct skin um, contact with it. And then like the higher you go, it creates this friction and then you have heat um, as well. And you know, applying heat helps with increased um, but, uh, blood flow. But this is how I use it. Any part of your body, I'm still pretty sore, the calf part, but you can use it on any part. And if you grip it better, you can get it to your back as well. You may need help to get to your full back. But yeah, this has been so good for like after my workouts. Hoping with that soreness, that tightness. Get that blood flow going. But yeah, I have been enjoying it. Then if you take a closer look, um, this is the power button button um, plus minus so you can always adjust the settings um, if you want it higher if you want it with lower pressure um, you can just do whatever suits you the best so yeah they sent this to me um, about a week or so ago and I've been enjoying it so far um, if you guys are interested in something like this um, I do have a discount code for you guys of course um, so in the description box I'm going to leave a link it gives you $50 off the pro 2 and then $100 off the pro 2 plus so if you're interested be sure to check that out all right, I'm gonna get myself together. Reality has hit that I am back on rotations. Um, I kind of forgot that I was like still in school. I had a long break. I've been chilling, relaxing, but yeah, first day is tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Just got to the hospital. It was a 50 minute drive this morning. Um, my first three years in med school, um, I had an apartment in the city, so it was convenient. Short drive to the hospital, short drive to um, to campus. But after third year, I moved because a lot of um, fourth year is just like off time, free time, doing way rotation, so you're not gonna be at your usual location. Um, so currently I'm back home, makes more sense, saving money, not paying any rent. But back home is like Metro Atlanta area. That's Cobb County, so Powder Springs, Marietta. It's quite a drive. Some days it's pretty rough, but there's pros and cons. Yeah, I'm saving a lot of money, so. All right, so my day is going to be starting at 8 a.m. Heading to the um, emergency department. I'm gonna be uh, doing the radiology reading room over there. Pretty uneventful day. A uh, radiologist pretty much just uh, sit in a reading room, a dark room, and read all of the imaging um, that was done for that day. So there's a different kind of radiology. You can do neuro, um, thoracic, abdominal. I was doing emergency radiology. So anything that came through the emergency department, any patient that had imaging, those radiologists would then um, read those studies. Honestly, to me, radiology is a pretty boring specialty i mean there's no patient interaction you're in a dark room staring at a screen all day it's not for me um there's also a different kind of radio radiology like interventional radiology where you have to do more procedural things um but for me this is a good rotation because with emergency medicine you're always going to need to know how to interpret and read imaging all right so that pretty much wraps up my day i'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here um if you guys enjoy this make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next week when I'll be on the road again for my final interview. Bye guys.